на здраве. Today I'd like to tell you about the pronunciation of the name of my favorite Czech composer, Antonín Dvořák. Okay, that's it. You just heard it. You're fine. <laughs> no, but seriously, most Anglophones are clearly not going to be saying Dvořák. Not quite exactly like that. So I'm going to tell you how to say it to get close enough for English conversation so that you're not saying something way out in left field. There are three bits to pay attention to. I'm going to start from the back. The first bit then is that A with an accent on it. Now you might see the accent and think, okay, so that's where the stress is. Nope, stress is always on the first syllable in Czech. That accent just means that it's not A, it's A, it's longer. Now here's the thing, that vowel A uh, is sort of halfway between two vowels that we normally make in English, A uh, and A. Uh. So you're probably going to want to say ak or ak. Well, that's fine if you can't manage to say ak, say ak, and people will find it quite close enough in English conversation. Next bit, that R, that R with a hatchet on it. So, what do you do? Do you go to the hot check and pick it up? Okay, lame joke. Czech people are really, really proud of this inordinately difficult letter to pronounce. It takes even Czech kids years to learn how to say. So you can expect that Anglophones are generally not going to nail it down. That's all right. If you want to know how to say it, well, lucky me, I go in for cheap trills, literally trills. Start with then move your tongue forward. Did you know that you control the right on the tip of your teeth? Well, that is not this. It's halfway between them, right on the palate. Only it's not usually trilling so aggressively. It just becomes a fricative. You notice how I tend to jot my jaw forward. I don't think that Czech speakers always jot their jaws forward when doing it, but I have to accommodate my particular habits of speech. So, R. Now, if you're an ordinary English speaker and you don't want to go around saying R, 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 just say R plus J. So, R, 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 Dvorak, Dvorak. See? All right, now, third part, Dv. A lot of people look at that DV and think, okay, dava. No, 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 no. Don't add an extra syllable. You don't have to. Don't pretend. Don't kid yourself. Don't say, oh, I can't say that. Oh, yes, you can. All right, say after me, my name is Dwight and my dwelling is dwindling. Got that? My name is Dwight and my dwelling is dwindling. Now pretend you're German. My name is Dwight and my dwelling is dwindling. My name is Dwight, and my dwelling is dwindling. Got it? Dva, 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 dva. You just did it. There you go. You just did it. So you can say dva, Dvorak. Got it? Antonin Dvorak. Yeah. So here is to Antonin Dvorak, or Antonin Dvorak, if you wish. Nazdravi.